Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. Multiple arrests at the fair in Grand Blanc. On Saturday night at the Family Fun Fest, a patron told Grand Blanc police that they saw a gun in someone's waistband and pointed the person out. Police say they quietly asked him if he had a gun, but he was evasive, so they pat him down and found the gun. Police say he began to resist, and as they tried to arrest him, minors who were with him assaulted police. Later that evening, several small fights broke out. Police say it caused chaos as some people were running to watch the fight and others were trying to get away from it. The Grand Blake Police Department says it was an unfortunate that a small group of people tarnished a few hours of the family fun fest, causing fear for those there to enjoy it. A local animal shelter closed after a positive case of the highly contagious and deadly virus Parvo. Genesee County Animal Control closed this morning and will undergo deep cleaning of the entire building. The shelter says dogs six months and younger, health compromised dogs and those that aren't vaccinated have the highest risk of contracting the disease. Genesee County Animal Control says if someone is looking for their missing animal, to send them a picture with a detailed description. It's expected to reopen next Tuesday, the 27th. The owners of a burned down restaurant are providing an update on their plans to rebuild on Facebook. Bay City's Modes Tavern said the challenge isn't getting someone in just for a drink, but providing a year round experience inside and out. That's why Modes is planning to build and if it can, it will be two floors with a rooftop bar near East Midland and North Walnut. It said there are still many unknowns, but the goal is to be open next summer. Now here's Chris with your forecast. And temperatures tonight are expected to fall eventually into the 50s for overnight loads. There may be a few clouds initially tonight before eventually clearing out by tomorrow morning. High temperatures are expected to be in the 80s tomorrow with some 70s closer to the lakeshore. Your humidity should stay mostly low this week. A few spikes up into the muggy category, but otherwise we're still doing much better this year than we did last summer where we had a lot of dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s. I'm sure our time will come, but for now we've had pretty good luck with the comfort level. Now, things may change next week when it comes to our precipitation. The 6 to 10 day outlook does have us in the wetter than normal category, which is more than we've been able to say lately. So even though we're not expecting rain tonight, we do have a chance as we head towards next week. Your TV 5 first alert hour by hour forecast shows we clear out tonight. will be sunny most of the day tomorrow. A few clouds develop in the afternoon and the model tries to kick up a few showers. Just don't think we'll have the moisture for that. I wouldn't say it's completely impossible, but certainly not counting on it at this time. So we'll keep it dry. We do have a chance for rain as soon as Friday and also a few small chances through the weekend. Monday of next week looks like the best one for now. We'll keep you posted as we get close. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.